Hello, Carrie here. Today I'm going to be working in my brand new sketchbook that I've made myself. It is very heavy watercolour paper and I'm going to be working in acrylic paints. So I have gessoed the uh, paper. I've got various colours. I've got blues, I've got Payne's grey. I've got this chromium green. I've got Tharlow blue. I've got raw sienna, burnt sienna, a warm yellow and process yellow. Uh, fluorescent pink and magenta and crimson those two colors are very similar but they're they do give variety and lots of white because i know i'm going to use a lot of white i always do so i've got various tools here to use obviously first of all i'm going to use paint brushes so i've got three different sizes here a larger medium and a smaller one and I've got some other, a trowel. I've got some, uh, I've got a card, an old credit card. I've got a car scraper. I've got uh, some cooking utensils, a fork and a pastry baster thing and a spatula. That spatula would be great for moving the paint around. I've got a charcoal pencil and I've got a roller, a brayer, excuse me. I've got a plate on the side there, a paper plate to mix the colours as well. Although I've got to try not to mix them. I've also got some uh, stencils and a uh, white marker and some oil pastels. I've also got the slick paint and some white paint in um, a bottle. So uh, it's ready gesso with just one coat of gesso. And I'm going to get cracking now and apply some paint. Oh, I need some water and I need a cloth to wipe my brushes on. Uh, you can, I, can, I usually use um, recycled uh, t-shirts, but at the moment um, I haven't got any uh, fresh ones to use. I get through them quite quickly. Uh, so I'm going to use some kitchen towel, towel instead. I'm going to speed up um, the actual process because it is very long otherwise. So it's going to be a time lapse. So here we go. First of all, I start off, I always start dark to light when I'm working acrylics. Seems to work quite well. Quite the opposite to the way I work in watercolours. So I'm using that kitchen tool. And now I'm going in with a fork. It's making some lovely marks. Pleased with those. And now I'm going to apply some of the light blue. In around the darker area. And I'm using a dry brush and doing a fair bit of scumbling. And now I'm trying to draw, and now I'm applying the white and I'm brayering that on. At the moment, I'm just making marks, um, just building up some texture and interest. More dry brush work. I'm using the hairdryer in between layers. I'm not using it all the time because sometimes I want the paint to stay wet and blend with each other. Now I'm coming in with a charcoal pencil and drawing. I'm holding the pencil at the end to stop me from having too much control. And now I'm going in with some lighter colour, adding more white and working the areas that haven't been touched by paint so far. I'm going over some of my marks and I'm scumbling into the um, other colours as well. My aim is to make sure every area of the paper is covered with some texture and interest. Going in with even more light, uh, lighter blue now. Going back in with some darker blue and making some more marks. I tried the pasty base, pastry baster and it wasn't very good. I think I'll cut the um, ends off, the tendrils off and use a shorter bit. Now we're going in with the uh, white paint in a bottle and drawing across there and using the brayer in some of the areas, not all of it. And now I'm going in with a little bit of the raw sienna mixed with white. It's the opposite colour um, on the colour wheel and it lifts the uh, blue even more. So I'm working that in and around. I'm going to go and use the dryer. I'm not having the hair dryer on the desk with me because I'm using water and it's uh, not a safe option for me. I'm very clumsy. So that's been dried. I've probably had a coffee break as well at some stage. 
Uh, and now I'm coming in with some ah stencil. This is my favourite stencil of all time. It's one I made myself. And I just want to uh, very loosely and lightly just suggest some text. I don't really want it to be that readable. So using um, a sponge roller this time, I'm going in and just very loosely. That's lovely. That's come out really well. I'm pleased with that. And now I'm going in with some more colour, strengthening some areas now. And now some oil pastel and that lovely blue. Just drawing here and there. And now I'm going over with the brush and I'm blending some of that oil pastel in with the paint and it's making a lovely um, interesting colour there. Sort of a greeny grey brown, it's lovely. I love those sort of intermediate colours you get. I'm going back in with some darker blue now, just to reinforce some of these areas that have got a little bit lost. I'm drawing again with the charcoal pencil, again holding the, just the end of the pencil to stop me having too much control. I want the lines to be um, fluid. And mixing up some more blue, I'm going into that area now and just bringing some of the areas up a little bit and reinforcing some shapes along there. So we haven't just got one diagonal line going from bottom to top. Going over there with almost white now with just a tiny touch of the raw sienna in it. And now it's mixing in with some blue. So. It's a its own colour now. <laughs> this is exactly what I wanted to try and do is to mix the colours on the um, paper because normally I pre-mix colours but I'm trying to let it happen, the colour mixing happen on their own. It's lose, letting go of control. It's a new experience for me and I'm enjoying it very much. mixing in some more white with some raw sienna and I'm working in these areas just to make sure that they're not flat colours. I was going to use that stencil but I changed my mind. Oh now I'm going to go and dry it again. As you can see I've used quite a bit of the white there just as well I put lots out. I'm going to do some more drawing. And now I'm mixing some more of the white with the raw sienna, but a lot more white this time. What I'm aiming for here is to make sure there's the area of interest is in that top right hand corner rather than in the centre of the page. So what I'm aiming for is to have um, contrast between light and dark up in that area. using the brayer again and again working intuitively is such fun I can highly recommend it this sketchbook is going to be full of all these I'm just going in with some more of the darker blue and some more of the lighter blue just so these colours aren't flat. And I'm scumbling a bit here and there as well. Putting some more lighter colour on and using the brayer further. Now I'm using some brighter yellow just to bring it up a little bit. And working on those lighter areas again. I like the shape I've got forming there. So I've got those two, two intersecting blocks of shapes. I've got the um, blue going from 
bottom left to top right and I've got the um, lighter yellow raw sienna whitey colour going from uh, bottom to top and obviously in a lovely um, shape I'm pleased about that so now I'm deciding what to do it gets harder um, as you get further into it to bring it to a conclusion so I'm doing some more drawing with the oil pastels I wanted to bring the eye to that top right hand corner so I'm going in with some more blue and I'm working in there now this is where I'm trying to bring more interest in that area by using tone so dark against light a lot more um, in that area and that will bring the eye there naturally a bit of blending with my finger I don't want hard lines really apart from the drawn ones I'm going in with some more of the brighter yellow mixed with the raw sienna and white just to make sure that area is uh, the more focal point that you think is working drawing, drawing some more lines with the uh, bottle it's got a fine nozzle on it and now I'm blending a few of them a bit so they're not too solid that's it we're getting there now so now I've uh, come back and I'm going to do a little bit of sewing on it in fact I've already done one line but I forgot I hadn't turned my camera on I thought I had so I'm just going through and this is normal speed now and I'm creating a diagonal line across the page with the sewing machine I'm having to go slow because the paper is very thick it's very heavy watercolor paper which is great for this sort of work it doesn't buckle and here we are nearly at the end of the uh, painting in fact this is the next day so it took me um, all afternoon yesterday and a bit of time today to finish it and as you can see I've got another one in my sketchbook happening as well so that's it I love it that was great fun I really enjoyed it I hope you did too thank you for watching bye